don't be afraid to shine. Be who you are. Don't be something you're not. The only thing that gets you through cancer is strength. Zumba really has helped the ability to move with less tremors. Zumba is the support group when the spouse are being deployed. You try to live your life for today, because we're not promised tomorrow. Everybody knows that. The Zumba Fitness community is united by committed and passionate instructors who give a great deal of their own time to make a difference for others. Our Zumba Fitness Core video game features five of these very special Zumba instructors. This is a showcase of these Zumba heroes and their inspiring stories that make them truly larger than life. I got involved with Zumba when I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease almost five years ago. My doctor advised me to exercise and get into the best possible shape that I could. Zumba became a big part of my exercise regimen. It led to a whole nother career for me of teaching dance and Zumba for Parkinson's disease class. When you put on the music, Somehow or another, that beat propels people forward. So even if they can't take that first step when the music's off, a lot of times they can take the first step or raise their arm when the music is playing. And I think the beat of the Zumba music is especially helpful dealing with the disease. And everybody is just on this, this high combination of, of dance and exercise and music. I really believe this is one of the life-saving things for me and for my husband as well. I just try to live the best possible way I can, and if I help other people living with this disease along the way, I'm happy. I don't know what life would have been like without Zumba, but I'm sure it wouldn't have been as much fun. Truth of the matter is, breast cancer is something I live for because I know what it feels like. I wouldn't understand before. You know, your hair falls out. I no longer have a breast. I walk around with a prosthesis, but it doesn't matter because I'm alive, so I don't really care. I had cancer stage four, terminal, and by the grace of God, I, I'm alive. And I look at life this way, we could die tomorrow, but we need to live today. Because until you go through it, you don't know how you teach. Now I teach from my heart. People go and they come to my classes because they know I'm a survivor, and, they, and that I'm happy, and, and that I'm living. It's not about losing weight and looking fabulous, it's about feeling great. Strength is what's gonna get you through. The ability to understand that even if you die, you did something great with your life. Strength, you know, the minute you get into depression, into thinking that you're gonna die because your spirit is dying, the minute you think you're dying. Because you're giving up hope. And even if you dance it today, tomorrow you don't wake up, you dance today. I'm a starting first class in the Army, full-time active duty soldier, and also part-time Zumba instructor. We volunteer our services so the family members, soldiers and retirees, they don't have to pay. Zumba helps the military community has a social network and provides support to the families when their spouses are deployed. So it's not just a workout, but it's just how then to connect with each other. It's a great program because there are people they don't like to work out. It's just like exercise in disguise. Asperger's is mild form of autism, but the main thing it, it does is just hinders one's social skills. I would often just be by myself. And it wasn't until I was started like grade school that they start taking me to therapists, and um, and right there I just felt like someone took a big freak stamp and just stamped it on my head for all to see. Like I felt like I was labeled as yeah and undesirable. I was at the YMCA with my father, but I noticed that there's these flashing lights and these loud music playing, and it got my attention. So I looked through the window and I saw a Zuma class for the first time. I'm like, whoa, what, what is this? These people is dancing and wow, they're, they're sound fun. Finally, I walk in, I'm the, one of the first people there and I'm, I'm scared. The, the other people in the class, they came up to me with a smile and said, Hi, what's your name? That never happened to me before. The music just lets you, takes you. I mean, it, it melds with your soul. I mean, I just love to dance. I want to be the best I can at it. I don't feel like the freak anymore. I'm finally, for the first time, happy. This mother came up to me. She told me that her son was recently diagnosed with autism. She said, seeing you gives me hope that my son will be a, grow up be a fine, functioning adult. Through Zumba, it gives hope. I wear this logo with pride, and I thank Beto for coming up with Zumba. There were
were times when I didn't want to get out of bed. There were times because it was so painful. I, I thought, you know, I have a class that's waiting on me. They want me to be there. When I got there, it was that hour of my life I forgot I had cancer. My husband came home from work. Um, I said, Russell, will you go ahead and shave my head? And he said that I was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. And he took my face like this and he looked at me and he said, you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. They've been hiding behind that hair all these years. He was really astounded by the Zumba community too. All this stuff started coming in. He goes, who are these people? I go, well, they're just people I've been meeting off of the board. It was, it was the spirit of giving, and Zumba is the spirit of giving. As long as I'm living, as long as I'm breathing, I'm gonna keep teaching Zumba. Because I can forget I don't have breasts, I can forget I had cancer, and I can exercise, exercise, dance exercise, and still feel sexy. When I found out that I was chosen to be a background avatar by Zumba, we were so excited. I feel honored and that I would be part of the game here. And I just want to say thanks for choosing me. I'm representing the U.S. Army, the soldiers. I'm representing my fellow Zumba instructors that volunteer with me. It's going to be magnificent because you know what? You made me bigger than what I am. So I now have to live up to that avatar. All of our Zumba instructors all over the world, if you change just one person, just one, you're already a hero.